In this lesson, we will learn about LLMs, that is large language models. So, whenever you discuss about generative AI, then this topic will always be considered. Both LLMs and generative AIs are subsets of deep learning. So, let us understand what are LLMs and we will also discuss a type or you can consider a use case of LLMs. Let's see. Okay, so now we'll be discussing about large language models. I told you that generative AI is a part of deep learning and LLMs are also a part of deep learning. Both are related. Okay, LLMs are also a subset of deep learning as I just said. Okay, you must have heard about ChatGPT, Copilot, Google Gemini, that means uh, BARD, Midjourney. So, LLMs are AI models you can consider that power all these chatbots. Okay, LLMs are large language models, that means large general purpose language models that can be pre trained and then fine tuned for specific purposes. You can pre train a LLM with a large data set, and fine tune means to fine tune it with a particular aim with a smaller data set from that large data set. Okay. So, LLMs also represent a class of AI models that is used to understand and generate human like text or you can say it provides an engine that powers the AI chatbot. So, your AI chatbots are based on these LLMs. These LLMs will allow your chatbot to easily create uh, naturally phrased recommendations so that uh, the content is generated by generative AI according to your personalized recommendation. That's why LLM is considered as the backbone of AI chatbots, all the AI chatbots. Now let us see a scenario or a use case. So the large language models are trained with petabytes of data and generate billions of parameters to solve different tasks. Okay, so these tasks can be sentence completion, text classification, language translation. Okay, so we can see this example of Palm PLM. It is a transformer based large language model. Google just announced Palm 2 also. It is a pathways language model of 540 billion parameters that is a large training data set with a large number of parameters. Okay, it is also a transformer model. I just told you that transformer model includes your encoders and decoders. I discussed this before. So, the speciality of LLMs are that it can still obtain a great a decent performance with little domain training data. So, it can be used for few shot or even zero shot scenarios. So, these two scenarios, uh, if you learn more about LLMs and all these models, you will be getting such terms again and again. So, let me explain it quickly. If you are training a model with less data with minimal amount of data, then it would be called few shot as the name suggests. And what about zero shot? It means a model can recognize things that have not been taught in the training before. Okay, so that means zero shot, nothing. So the LLM, the performance of LLM grows when you add more data and parameters. Here we just saw 540 billion parameters. Okay, so you can you can learn more about Palm later. Okay, so it is considered as a next generation language model. Okay, with the enhanced multilingual reasoning and coding capabilities. Okay. Google also announced Audio Palm for speech to speech translation in June 2023. 